for one family who made it out alive after a fire destroyed their home. It started as a result of a heater, which is, of course, a trend in the Alabaster Fire Department that they see frequently this time of year. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis joins us live from the Alabaster Fire Department after speaking with them tonight. Corey, it's a big risk this time of year. Jack, it is. Good evening. And Alabaster Fire Chief Tim Love tells me uh, that he really just wants to make sure that everyone is safe. And of course, this is after two house fires that started because of heaters. I keep it away from things that can are flammable. Mike Shess is one of millions of people who use electrical and space heaters during this time of the year. And after hearing about several fires starting as a result of a heater, he understands just how dangerous heaters can be. The electric one we do have, we don't move around. It just stays in one spot. In the center of his room, instead of up against something, this comes after flames tore through this house in Alabaster this past weekend as a result of a heater, leaving the family homeless. It's devastating loss. Um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Which is the trend the Alabaster Fire Department sees frequently during the winter months. Fire Chief Tim Love explains. Over the weekend, we've we've and up till today, we've had a couple of fires, both of them associated with with heating instruments. Love says he wants to get the word out for people to pay close attention when using extra heating sources. It's a real danger if we're not careful about how we set those things up. He says before using any space heater, read the manufacturer's instructions carefully, inspect heaters for cracked or broken plugs, and never leave a heater unattended. Meantime, Shez hopes the families who are affected by the fires get well soon, but plans to be cozy and safe during these frigid temperatures. Just keeping it comfortable. Now, the fire chief also wanted to mention now's a good time to check your batteries on your smoke detectors. We're live in Alabaster tonight. Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.